Are you ready for the next Windows update? Oh, you, you, you are. I'm sorry. Oh, you are ready. Okay, uh, well, we'll just, uh, we'll just roll the titles then, I guess. All right, what is up, everyone? I am Matt from Microsoft Expo Zone UK, and I, and welcome, and I hope you are all well. Today, I'm going to be taking you through some of the fantastic new features that have rolled out with the first major update for Windows 11, also known as Windows 11 Update 22H2. Catchy name, right? With this latest update, the aim of the included features are to empower you to be able to be more safe, more productive, and to connect with what you love easier. With that being said, let's get started, shall we? So, let's start with how this update will make your PC safer to use. Online safety and device security is a real priority for a lot of people, including myself, as I have a small person who often likes to also use my devices. I can now have confidence, though, that even if said small person starts downloading or running apps on my device, I have things to help me. We now have Smart App Control. Smart App Control adds significant protection from new and emerging threats by blocking apps that are malicious or untrusted. It also helps us to block potentially unwanted apps, which are apps that may cause your device to run slowly, display unexpected ads, offer extra software that you didn't want, or just do things that you didn't expect. Nice! Next, it's time to make sure that you get that important piece of work finished on time or finding what you want when you want it. And now, with the latest Windows update and enhancements to Snap Layouts, the Start menu, and the new Focus feature, this update will help you be the most productive yet. Snap Layouts on Windows 11 has been a game changer for multitasking, helping you optimize your space when you have multiple windows open at once. It's been around for ages, but now it's just there and easy to use. And it's now even more useful thanks to better touch navigation and the ability to snap multiple browser tabs in Microsoft Edge. There is also the inclusion of a new snap layouts bar by dragging the window to the top and activating your new snap layouts from there. You're a snap wizard. Also, with new additions now to the start menu personalization, you can, with a simple right click on the start menu, open up start settings. And here, you can customize your start menu and access the new layout feature. They have a default for your recommended and pinned apps as normal, or you can change this to have more pins or more recommendations. The choice is yours. Now, if you're anything like me though, the thing that hurts your ability to get stuff done more than anything is all those notifications popping up in the corner of your screen. With all those tempting distractions from, I don't know, social media, or maybe a colleague wants to have a badly timed conversation about the latest cinema release that you watched at the weekend. If you cannot resist those temptations, then never fear. Focus Sessions and Do Not Disturb is here to save your productivity. Focus is now integrated into the Clock app, so all you need to do is click the Clock app and then select Start Focus Session. This will bring up a timer where you can set exactly how long you want to concentrate on your task for. When you start a focus session, Do Not Disturb will turn on automatically and silence your notifications, including any of those visual notifications in your taskbar. Lastly, let's see how we can connect with what we love even better thanks to this update. From work to connecting with friends and family, video calls have become one of the essential tasks that defines your PC. You may want to look and sound your very best while taking on these calls now. And now with new Windows Update, studio camera and audio effects has been added. You can blur backgrounds, turn on voice focus to turn down the background noise, and use automatic framing so you're always in the frame. That's cool, right? Don't want to be the star but love directing? You can access a new free app called ClipChamp. This allows you to create and edit videos with templates, effects, and much, much more. This video editor is beginner friendly with a drag and drop interface as well as advanced video features that help you cut, crop, record screen and webcams, edit green screen videos, and even add epic AI voiceovers. And what about all our people out there who love playing video games? Well, Windows 11 is optimizing some of their amazing Windows 11 gaming features, such as Auto HDR and Variable Refresh Rate, to work better with your games. Windows 11 has also added a new feature for all you PC gamers who love to use your Xbox controller when gaming with something called Controller Bar. 
All you need to do to experience this new feature is connect your controller via Bluetooth and then press the Xbox button to jump into your last played game, search for a brand new game to play from the Xbox app, or just easily access the full Windows game bar without having to touch your keyboard or mouse. Cool, right? I also want to take a moment to highlight that Windows 11 is now becoming even more accessible thanks to this Windows 11 22 H2 update. Some of the features included in this are system-wide live captions to automatically generate captions from any form of audio content on Windows 11. There's voice access, which allows you to control your PC and author text using only your voice and some more natural voices for narrator, which mirrors natural speech more closely, creating a pleasant sounding audio to assist in reading or browsing the web. Now the rollout for the update has already begun, so make sure that you check out if your device is ready for it by searching for check for updates in your search bar. All these features that I've mentioned today in the video will be in this update, as well as many more that I haven't had time to speak about today. And there is even updates coming in the future, so keep an eye out for all of those too. So on that note, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it informative. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon to be notified when new content goes live. I've been Matt, as always. You've been watching Microsoft Expert Zone UK and I, and I will check you all on the flip side. Oh, peace!